Hello everyone, welcome. In this lesson we are going to return to the topic of regular ER verbs. We'll look at a verb that you haven't seen before and just remember that it's very important to know your present tense conjugations well because some of the other more complicated verb tenses build on what you know already from regular ER verbs in the present tense. So let's go ahead and get started. Just a reminder, uh, these are the endings for regular ER verbs in the present tense, the endings that you have to have memorized. There's no way around it. All you have to do is just associate each ending with the subject pronoun that you see. So for example, je, the ending for regular ER verbs in the present tense is always e. For tu, it's always es, and so forth and so on. So you have to have this memorized. There's no way around it. Okay. So we're going to look at a new verb. The verb is to like or to love. It's the same verb. It's the verb aimer. Aimer. Once again, to like or to love. Aimer. So let's go ahead and start working with this verb. You see the infinitive aimer and you see the subject pronoun je. What do you do with this to start using it in the present tense? Well, the first thing is, let's take a look at the infinitive, and remember, if you want to conjugate a verb in the present tense, drop the ER ending. So we're left with the root, im, and all you have to do at this point is add on an ending. So for example, if I want to conjugate the verb with je, I just need this ending. So there's my root, there's my ending. What do I do? I add that E ending because I'm using the subject je and I have je aime. Is this correct? Well, there's another thing here that is very important. When you have the two vowels together with the je, you have to drop the E and use an apostrophe. So here we have it. This is correct. J'aime. J'aime. J'aime means I like or I love, just depending on the context in which you use it. Okay, so we have j'aime. So let's look at the other form. So we have I like. So there's my root, and I add the ending for je, and I have j'aime. You like. Okay, this is the informal you, tu. I have my root. What do I add on to this? And you have to have this memorized. So if you have it memorized, you'll know that when you use to, the ending is es, to m, j'aime, to m, so you, to m, you like. He likes, what is the ending for he? The ending is e, so il aime, il aime. She likes, what is the ending for she? It's the same as il, il and l are the same, m, and one likes, remember the on, in French. So on is impersonal. It means one likes, we like, they like, you like, but we're not pointing at a particular person. We're just using this in general. So if you want to say one like or people like, they like, on, and the ending is m, okay? Remember, il, elle, and on share the same ending. So il aime, elle aime, on aime, on aime. Okay, so we have our singular forms here. J'aime, tu aimes, il aime, elle aime, on aime. Okay, there's one more, one more singular form, and that's vous. Remember, vous can be singular or plural. It's formal, it's the formal you. So the tu is the informal you speaking to one person, and the vous is the formal you speaking to one person. So what is the ending for vous? It's a, Z, aimer, vous aimez, vous aimez. So now we have all the singular forms. J'aime, tu aimes, il aime, elle aime, on aime, vous aimez, vous aimez. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a little vocabulary here. Les chiens, dogs, les chats, cats, les ordinateurs, computers, la pizza, pizza. And this is it, folks. This is the fun and exciting part of this lesson. This is where we put everything together so that you can begin communicating. You can begin speaking fluently in French. Okay, 
So let's see what we can do with this information. Let's see how many ideas we can express. Let's start here at the top. If I want to say I like dogs, j'aime les chiens. I like cats, j'aime les chats. I like computers, j'aime les ordinateurs. I like pizza, j'aime la pizza, la pizza. Notice the pronunciation, la pizza, pizza. Okay, now you like dogs. This is the informal you. Tu aimes les chiens. You like cats. Tu aimes les chats. You like computers. Tu aimes les ordinateurs. You like pizza. Tu aimes la pizza. He likes dogs. Il aime les chiens. He likes cats. Il aime les chats. He likes computers. Il aime les ordinateurs. He likes pizza. Il aime la pizza. She likes dogs. Elle aime les chiens. She likes cats. Elle aime les chats. She likes computers. Elle aime les ordinateurs. She likes pizza. Elle aime la pizza. On can mean several things, so we're going to go with the meaning we like. This is very common. French speakers will often use on instead of nous to say we and whatever verb. So we like on aime. On aime. We like dogs. On aime les chiens. We like cats. On aime les chats. We like computers. On aime les ordinateurs. We like pizza. On aime la pizza. Remember that on aime les chiens can also mean one likes dogs or uh, they like dogs or even you like dogs. Not you in particular or we. We're not referring to a specific person, but just in general. Okay. So the last one here is vous, you like, and remember this is the formal you. It can be singular and it can be plural. In this activity, we're using it in the plural sense. So you're talking to one person formally. You like dogs, vous aimez les chiens. You like cats, vous aimez les chats. You like computers, vous aimez les ordinateurs. You like pizza, vous aimez la pizza. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. And if you found this lesson helpful, then I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button. Also consider sharing this channel with others. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. To go on to the next lesson, click on the video that appears here on your screen. I'll see you soon. A bientôt.